Hello, 8th graders, and welcome to Chapter 11, Man and the Universe. The link will be in the description, as usual, for you to download and access this PowerPoint for the exam itself. Happy studying. Um, you don't have to watch this, the rest of this video if you don't want to. We're just going to go over some of the things that we learned this chapter. Starting with Chapter 11.1, .1, Instruments of Astronomy. Of course, the most important instrument is the telescope. Uh, there's two different kinds, a refracting telescope and a reflecting telescope. Um, the refracting is the best, and it turns out even with the best telescopes, we need um, cer certain computer programs which run adaptive optics to help correct the distorted images. There's also radio telescopes which study radio waves um, which come from space, and they're pretty useful. Um, some people actually literally um, use them just to study aliens, <laughs> um, not that they've found anything, uh, but a lot of people use them to study uh, various uh, pulsars which uh, put out radio waves. <clears throat> and um, astronomy and time, uh, of course astronomy definitely helps us tell time and help helps us with time. You have zenith and nadir, um, the peak uh, directly overhead and directly below. Uh, the Earth's rotation, what is a day? Well, it depends on what kind of day you're talking about. Um, our clocks run on 24 hours, but a real day, a side real day, um, lasts about 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. So every day, um, technically, uh, is a little bit off because it lasts um, about 4 minutes short. Um, however... Uh, we have ways to correct that through, like, daylight savings time and uh, various other things. Uh, so we don't really mess up too badly. Um, the apparent solar day is from noon to noon when the sun's the highest. Uh, summertime, also, also known as daylight savings time, um, is when you set your clocks ahead or back to help correct um, the when the sun rises or, or sets. And uh, that happened recently. What time is it? What time is it? It feels like midnight. It's 5 o'clock, you know. So, um, anyway, kind of throw you off for a little bit. Uh, some people use military time. Um, when it's 7 o'clock a.m., it's 700 hours. When it's 7 o'clock p.m., you add 7 plus 12. Um, it's 1,900 hours. You can look on that on the Internet a little bit more if you'd like to. Solar year. This time it takes to go around the... Sun, uh, approximately 365.24 days, and we use a leap year to help correct that. If we didn't have a leap year, eventually our summers would feel like winters, and our winters would feel like summers. Um, so the leap year is very helpful. Lots of different calendars, from Julian to Gregorian to the Jewish to Islamic. Uh, lots of different places and zones in the Earth. You have the tropics, um, oops, tropics, which... Uh, experience very few temperature changes. You have the temperates, which um, have a winter and a summer. Uh, imagine not having a winter and a summer. That'd be terrible. I was looking at the, uh, you want to see something funny? Um, Guam at monthly temperature. I was talking with, um, <laughs> with uh, Jeff about this recently. Um, about temperature on Guam, and uh, in the summer, the average day goes up to 89. In the winter, the average day goes down to 87. Wow, what a difference, right? Um, so, it's kind of crazy. Um, the coldest month is February, where the average day is 86. Burr, right? Um, so that's in the center of the tropics. Very little uh, change in the daily temperature. Anyway, uh, space flight is where we ended off. You got um, Robert Goddard, the um, father of modern rocketry. And uh, we started looking into rockets for war. Yay. Werner von Braun built the first ballistic missile. And, uh, of course, he wanted to do it to win World War II. Um, and uh, there was a space race between the U.S. and Soviet Union. Sputnik, Explorer, uh, Yuri Gagarin and uh, Alan Shepard. 
Um, you have various accomplishments by various people I'm not going to go over, but the Apollo spacecraft was the first to land on the moon, Apollo 11, in 1969. Uh, you know, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, Neil Armstrong says as he puts his foot on the moon, they collect space rocks and go back. Um, and uh, then there was a space station launched, uh, International Space Station, longer than a football field, used by many different developed nations, including the Soviet Union, um, and everybody works together now. How nice. Um, orbits and satellites. Um, of course, um, a satellite's any object that orbits another object. Um, there's many different types of um, orbits. Some are geostationary. They stay in the same place in the sky. Some... Um, kind of rotate with the sun. Others are moving about wherever they want. Uh, there's different things that we use every day, like a GPS um, and satellites, like a military satellite, can be used to photograph or spy our enemies. This is a Blackbird spy plane. Um, we do have those. They're not just in like video games and stuff. And uh, of course, deep space wants to be explored. So anyway, um, have fun studying. I will see you guys later.